Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. In today's video, I have another guest, Kali Wally, here, and we are going to be eating Indian food takeout. Um, I feel like we eat this a lot lately. Mm. No? This is a new restaurant that we've never tried before. I'm kind of... I hope it's good. You a little suspect. I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> you also dropped it on the floor. Yeah, so um, the bag was literally like 50 pounds. This is like $80 worth of takeout. And it was so heavy, it like slipped out of my hand and smashed on the ground. Wait, this is 80, like when you look at it? Yeah, it's $80. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big old thumbs up. And shout out to our patrons at Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel. We love you guys so much. And uh, let's just jump right on into this bang. I think that we're going to answer some couples questions. Are you ready for that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, broski. Where do you want to stay? No, you got to use this spoon because you're too loud. I knew you were going to yell at me. <laughs> you can't. Sorry, I looked at you, you like that because I was like, you're not going to let me. No, Siri. <sighs> um, oh, so let's tell them everything we got. This is aloo gobi. It's, um, right? Potato and cauliflower. This is just like mixed vegetable curry. This is nirvana tofu. I, I'm pretty sure it's just like tofu masala with coconut milk. This is the doll of the day. And this is the sag, um, potato sag. But this is what we dropped on the floor. Or, and it smashed open, but we were able to salvage it and like scoop it out on the plates. And we got some samosas and this is special bread. It has potato stuff inside of it. Ooh. It was the server's recommendation. Solid, dude. Or the host's recommendation. She was very nice. She was so nice. I asked her, I just wanted to make sure everything was vegan. And anyone that like puts up with my 50 questions, I'm like, you're so kind. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the tofu masala first and you're gonna do the mixed veggies. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh, there's like red pepper in here. Wow, broski. Even that's good. Mmm. That's so good. So good. I just kind of want to try a, a scoop of everything and then I'm going to pl plate it. Dude. Mmm. I've already tried this off camera. Well, what the freak? I'm so hungry, I just need a minute. <laughs> Dude, I'm starving. It's been a long day. It's been a really long day. Don't like? No, that's really good, but... I was expecting it to taste like what we had in Boulder, uh -huh. and it doesn't. Honestly? It's so interesting. It's sweet, too. Literally, the best Indian food that I've ever had was in Boulder. That, that food was really good. It was so good. They made everything vegan for us, and everything was just so good. I don't really like the sag. Really? I say that, yeah. It tastes burnt. I don't like when they, when it tastes burnt like that. Oh, I'm so hungry. <sighs> Wanna try samosa? Mm-hmm. Do you want your own? These are big boys. These are hefty. <laughs> These weigh like a pound each. What do you want me to do with that? Put it in your mouth. Take it with your hand. <laughs> Why was that a struggle for you? Look at this thing. I know. Oh my god, look at the samosa. I love samosas. 
Käse. <lacht> mm. Oh, bad. Gönn? So good. That was the worst place I could have bought. <laughs> My bite was delicious. That's for the samosa, isn't it? Or no? Yeah. Uh, wow. Wow. Literally, samosas are like... That's really good. It's dessert. You think that's dessert? Yeah. Because, like, the, the outer part. Oh, my God. Samosas are one of my favorite foods. Really? A delicacy. Isn't this delicious? Uh. It's not my favorite part of Indian. Oh, mm, my God. You got to dip it in this one. Dude. How do you not like that? That's so good. I like it. It tastes burnt. Oh man, dude. What? What's One wrong? Day. Dude, you know. It's just unbelievable. Just calm being calm. Colin literally drops shit like five times a day. You have anything you want to tell the people? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is so good. Really? I love that. The vegetable curry is really good. This. It's funny how what? Look, every time we... Yeah, did you try that? Mm -mm. This is so good. So this is like... I forget what type of bread this is, but it's bread with stuff with a potato inside of it. This is for that, right? Um, Didn't she say that? I thought she said that. Yeah, she said it came with um, a chutney. But look, it has mashed potato in it. Mm. Wow. When we first got this, it was like scalding hot. It would have been so good. It's like cooled down a little bit. I feel like every time I order Indian food, like it's so different, like each place you order from, you know? You know what other place we got really good Indian food is in Daytona Beach. Oddly enough. That random place that we went? Yeah. It was like a table of 20. Oh my god, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I feel like that was so good. That's so funny that we made everyone go to Indian because... We were vegan. Yeah. <laughs> After one of Colin's like national golf tournaments, literally like 20 of us went to this Indian restaurant in Daytona Beach. And it, I just remember in my head being like so bomb, but it could have been because we just walked like 18 holes and I was like starving. But in my head, it was like so good. And yes, yeah, since it was like one of the only places that had vegan options, we like made everybody go there. Not made, but. There's a few places around town we were getting food. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one vegan place. Mm -hmm. But that was like five years ago. That was a while ago. Yeah, that was five years ago. <clears throat> Any golf stories that you can tell? Have you ever got hit in the head with a golf ball? Hit in the head? Or no. hit? I have got hit. Really? Does it hurt? Yeah, I got hit in a qualifying tournament for like the Ohio Amateur. So it's it's not like a huge tournament, but you want to get into the Ohio Amateur. So it's like an important tournament to qualify. Mm -hmm. And so I'm walking up the eighth hole. I'm in Finley, Ohio. And there's this par five, which is like number one. I think I was walking up eight or seven. And there's this person like, over here in the distance and I'm watching them tee off as I'm like walking up this like hill Excuse me. and then I'm kind of just like walking up to my ball and then all of a sudden I just like kind of pan over it's like blue sky like really bright out green I like kind of like pan over and then just 
all I see is one hop and then hits me right here. How would you explain that location? Like top of my thigh. <laughs> Inside top of my thigh. <laughs> and dude, I like went like holy like I like What did that hit you in the balls? Dude, it was literally like six inches away. I would say like two inches away. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it was wild. It was wild. So, but the thing is, is that it was a driver too. So, like, it was a driver and he hooked it. So that ball's traveling really fast. And they're like decently good golfers. You know what I mean? So they get like a good like. I mean, you have to be a two handicap to play in that. So like, you're a good golfer. And yeah, dude, it was just it was just wild. It hurt really bad. So oh yeah, I went down to my knees and then I would just like kind of like you went down to your knees. No, I didn't go down to my knees. I like put my hands like on my uh. my knees, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And I kind of, and like no one saw it. Really? And um, yeah, no one saw it. But um, <clears throat> now I just had to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk it off. <laughs> yeah. I think I had a. No, maybe I didn't. I was probably carrying my own bag. Yeah, but that was kind of wild. And then the dude didn't even say anything when he walked past me. I thought like for sure because he obviously saw it. It wasn't that far ahead. Really? Yeah. He didn't say anything? There wasn't trees or anything. Yeah. Yeah, didn't say anything. Hmm. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Did you tell everybody your story afterwards? I, dude, honestly, I don't even remember, but I I do remember that vividly. Have you ever seen someone get hit in the head? I don't know if I have. I. Okay, well, for the last like ten minutes of this video, let's answer. I thought it'd be fun if like you could like guess what my what my answer would be, and like I could guess what your answer would be. You know. Mm -hmm. There's, can you, there's some like curry on my phone. Do you have a napkin? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh my God, you guys, I'm really full. I went from really hungry to really, really full. Okay, what is, what is my ideal way to spend a vacation? Um, I'll let you know if you're right. Where's the towel? Um, your ideal vacation? Well, I think a lot of the stuff that you're looking at is like, hey, let's go rent a camper and like literally travel around and like live out of this like camper or bus, go to national parks, wow. see a lot of things. But really, I think <laughs> your ideal vacation is like going and sitting on a beach and then walking through the little town and seeing every shop possible. Those are your two vacations. <laughs> God, you know me like really well. I know you like the back of my freaking hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I, what I really wanna do is I really wanna go to the desert. I've been asked, begging Colin to go to the desert. And where are we going? Cape Cod. <laughs> For you, no, but that is so true. I've been, I really want to rent an RV and go to the national parks. Uh, so, you need more patrons, bro. Yeah. If we get 30. <laughs> Dude, we didn't get any new patrons that wanted to hear your crazy story time. And then you're never going to know. About someone busting your door in. While we were both it's sitting in the room. A secret, bro. Yeah, it was a secret, bro. Okay, well, anyways, <clears throat> your ideal vacation would be like hiking in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> like, I literally can't think of anything else you'd want to do more. It is very enjoyable. I mean, I do want to get an RV and like visit all the national parks but I also want to just like go to a resort and just like live my best life for a few days 
I know that's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So y- that is your answer. You want to go to the Rocky Mountains? Go hiking. I just want to go to any sick mountain like that, mountain range like that. Stay in a mountain town. Ideal fun. We got different different ideas of fun, bro. <laughs> I know. What was your most inappropriate or embarrassing fart? Dude, that's the question. <laughs> that's the question, bro. Yeah, but like I saw that and I said I'm not gonna <laughs> ask that question. Can you just answer it like um My most embarrassing fart? Well the one mm. <laughs> On the mukbang? Yeah, on the mukbang. No. I don't know I don't know. Do you know? Um I feel like I've definitely had an embarrassing fart moment, but um, none, like, specifically I can remember. I can think of, like, multiple occasions where I peed my pants. (laughs) If you want to know those ones. Dude, I experience that every single day with you almost (laughs) peeing your pants, bro. I don't need to hear. Okay, well, one time I peed myself in dance class. (laughs) And? I mean, it wasn't really that embarrassing, because everyone pees their pants in dance class. <laughs> no, because, like, I was with my friend, and we were, like, fucking around and, like, just, like, laughing. And when I laugh too hard, I just can't control my bladder. Yeah. No, I can now. I've gained mm-hmm. control of my bladder problems. But when I was younger, I couldn't. I would literally just pee. And I was laughing so hard, and I literally just peed on the floor. And you didn't stop? You just kept going? Once it, like... <laughs> Dude, I knew that you would just let it go. Would you just stand there? What'd you do? You can't just, like, stop it. What do you mean you can't stop your pee? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I, I think I might be able to now, but when I was little, like, I, I literally couldn't control how my peeing. <laughs> like, how, not that Yeah, little. <laughs> how little? <laughs> 14? No, bro. I, I think it's genetics because all the girls on my mom's side of the family, like, pees their pants. Mm. Maybe I'll cut that that conversation <laughs> out too. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Like with farting, like if you go to a setting that like you're around people and it's like quieter, like you can't fart. Or in, or in like if you're packed kind of close, like people are gonna smell it. So like, <laughs> you know, like isn't that kind of funny that you have to control that? But like. At home, you can just, like, fart all day long. <laughs> when did you start farting around me and, like, we didn't... Because, like, we stopped... Once you started farting around me. <laughs> <laughs> you used to... I remember you said something one time, like, like, farts are disgusting. What do you mean? You said something like that and I was like, oh my god, I fart all the time. <laughs> I was like, now I can't fart around you. Mm. Or, like, someone farted you, you were like, it's so disgusting. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, you, you used to be like that? Mm. Yeah, but at what point did we start farting around each other? Like, once we moved to L.A.? <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> what is my favorite thing in our house? So random. The Berkey. <laughs> you didn't have to think about that one. I don't know if that'd be my favorite thing. It is. I know. Because you almost took it down to San Diego. <laughs> and when we were in the Rocky Mountains, you said, you know what I wish I had? A travel Berkey. <laughs> I do love my Berkey water filter. I'd say my favorite thing is probably my fiddly fig that I'm desperately trying to keep alive. Dude, you just bought that. It's recency bias. I love him. <laughs> it's recency bias. What do you really love? Your Vitamix that's been around for eight years? Who's treated you right? Um, I think I love my absolutely monstrous fridge that almost killed you and Reynolds. That is a great fridge. We tried to move it. We kind of went out on the limb by going and getting that uh, fridge. Because it was on, like, offer up, and we, like, could have got, like, a crappy fridge. Yeah, bro. So I would say that your favorite thing in the house is your yoga mat that you <laughs> refuse to roll up. Every single day? Dude, I use it like four times throughout the day. Dude, I just, for whatever reason, it just bothers me when your yoga mat is out. Don't touch me. (laughs) Is that the right answer? What do you like most about where you live? 
What do I think you like the most? Sure. Uh, the weather and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, specifically, I think you like our area a lot. Okay, what do, what do I think you like most about where we live? Yeah. You like being able to drive to the beach. You like how we don't have anybody adjacent to our exterior walls. And you like the skunks that live in our yard. <laughs> you like the possum that walks on our fence. You see, you see, you saw them. We need to get a video of the possum so we can show them. Oh my god. It looks like it's out of a movie, like it doesn't look real. It literally it's looks crazy. like a cartoon character. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like every it's like every day at like six thirty. On yeah. <laughs> at the exact same time every day, this massive possum walks across our cinder block <clears throat> fence and it's just the craziest animal I've ever seen. He is really wild to look at. And then it's like all night too. They like use these brick walls as like a highway. Like that's where <laughs> they literally yeah, it's literally how they do. And they go like Yeah. I don't think I've ever yawned in a mukbang before. Have you ever seen have you ever seen me yawn in a mukbang? <clears throat> okay, last question. What is one thing you want to work on as a person? Mm. I want. I do want to become even. A, uh, I want to become a better um, listener, active listener, and um, yeah. That's it. Right now, yeah. You're already pretty good at that, so I think that you should work on something else. <laughs> I think I know something that you can work on. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how this works? Really, in like in my calendar, I just put because for for sales, I want to be a better listener to them. Be a better listener. Um, but I feel like when I'm like having a conversation. Normally, like, I am a pretty good listener. Yeah. So that's why I'm, like, confused why sometimes I don't listen on the sales call. Maybe because you're more thinking of what you're going to say. That's exactly it. What do I need to work on, dude? Just tell me. I don't want to tell them. Oh, just tell them. It's a personal conversation. Oh, is it? Well, tell me and cut it. You need to work on... Well, definitely cut that out. <laughs> No, let me rephrase it. No. Why? You can't say that. I'm not, I won't. I was going to say you need to work on not letting little things affect you so much. Like one thing goes wrong and you f***ing cry about it. <laughs> can we cut that out? Yes. <laughs> you have food all in your teeth. <laughs> Uh, what do I need to work on? What do you think you need to work on? I need to work on my cell phone addiction, for starters. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I just thought you were going to say something. No, I seriously need to stop getting stuck in scroll holes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us for this, like, chill... Mm, mukbang conversation. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm. I need to go horizontal. Yeah, I need to go horizontal too. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> tired and full. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> look, and look <laughs> <laughs> make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I really want to like play some like couples games. I feel like that'd be fun in the future. So let us know some other things that we could like do for a video. Okay. <laughs> you at your max peaks, week, peaks end? Bah. Wits end? All right. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you guys so much, and we will see you next time. Bye.
Whatever Wednesday out.